This woman is dying. I didn't catch her name. We've seen so many people like her. It's hard to keep caring. You'll see. I hope they'll accept her at the hospital. I wonder if Nick will write a column about her. Nicholas Kristoff, that is, the journalist for the New York Times that we've been traveling around with, or rather, struggling to keep up with. He truly never stops. You'll see. It's stunning here, a palette of primary colors. Stunning and shocking and this permanent stench. It smells like burnt... Something like the people here threw clothes and rocks on the grill long after they ran out of food. It's hard to concentrate here. There's so much tension and suffering. Welcome to the Democratic Republic of Congo. Nick is on a mission. There's no question about that, but I question his methods. You might too. I can't quite figure him out. He's relentless. He told me he wants to make his readers uncomfortable, and it seems to be working. His impact is impressive, beyond impressive, but his job seems so simple. He just walks into the worst nightmares and shines his big light. You'll see. I don't know how he concentrates. The fear of men with guns is scrambling my mind. We drove four hours into the bush to see the reigning warlord, General Nakunda. Big smile, manic eyes. But it's too easy to call him evil. He fights for God, for land, for minerals, for ideas. And all the violence trickles down to her. I'm starting to understand Nick's methods. She's almost out of life. Where is this hospital? If it's your first time here, something breaks in you that can't be fixed. It's all in the eyes. Good people, and 5.4 million of them have died here in the last decade. That can't be right. Why didn't I know? This ride is taking forever. This is infuriating. Stay focused on the mission, the story. Nick goes to Congo. He writes a column. I make a film. You read his column. You watch my film. Then what? <laughs>